Artemis One mission is very important to Orion for crew safety because it represents really the culmination of years and years of effort by multiple teams to illustrate what it would be like for humans to be in that capsule going through the mission phases. It's important to integrate all the systems because individually we develop, we design, we test, we analyze to make sure that they can, all the parts of the vehicle can withstand the environments, but you need to run a flight test without crew first to fully appreciate and understand, quantify, characterize those environments before you expose humans in this type of a mission. Deep space uh, presents a number of challenges to human safety. Um, it goes outside of the safety of our low Earth orbit and our atmosphere, which means not only do you have to sustain the vibration and acceleration of exiting Earth's atmosphere, but then you have to deal with things like radiation through the Van Allen belts and through deep space all to return and come back into Earth's atmosphere again, go through yet another series of accelerations and vibrations and eventually egress the vehicle and get to safety on a recovery ship. understand when you see something like the Artemis One vehicle, the rocket, the service module, crew module, launch abort tower, all those pieces have gone through sustained, dedicated ground test series and sometimes flight tests. Yeah. The Orion crew module is larger than Apollo was. It has a number of upgrades on the interior. This particular mission is going to be a 42 day mission, but we have more space, more room to accommodate crew. One. Yeah, I'm part of a team that will be looking at measurements within the Orion crew module. I have sensors that are on the seat. In fact, one that's right behind the headrest where Arturo Campos, the, the mannequin, has been strapped into the seat. And that will give us data to understand a few things. Number one, if you're in the rocket and you're on the pad and you're waiting to launch, the vehicle sways back and forth. We wanna ensure we don't make the crew sick before they even launch. Then you light the rocket and they take off. You will experience acceleration and vibration at the same time as you punch through Earth's atmosphere. We need to fully understand how that would affect the body, how that may affect legibility of the screens. So the, the capsules laid out that you have display units suspended above the crew. Number one, we'll evaluate what would it have felt like for the crew to be on that mission. We'll also look at it from the context of would we have been able to read the displays? Would we be injured? Um, would vibration have degraded our ability to control the vehicle? 